Hot as summer on record for the world's strongest every man, and I'm out here with my trusty handy dandy yoke. Global warming's a bitch. Eight, nine, ten. On the fucking cheek. Why, you might ask, if the weather is so oppressive, would I choose to work out in the sun, bearing down on me, with this big old black piece of equipment? Well, you may have remembered when I was training for Iceland and then training for my first strongman meets, that we brought this guy out here to do some yoke walks. However, I don't really do yoke walks that often. And so, we had some damage in my mud room and I had to move this out here so that we could fix the floor. And my wife says to me, you don't use that piece of equipment that much. It can't be that versatile. Maybe you should get rid of it. So I'm Brandon Lirio, the world's strongest everyman, proving to my wife that you can do a shit ton with a yoke in your backyard. Let's see what we can do today. So, let's start out with some shoulder presses, obviously, because we have the two uprights. It's more going to act like a pin press almost, which is great, because if you really are training for strongman or something like that, um, you can overload this and not have any worries about actually cleaning it off the ground. Um, if you wanted to strict press, this is a great strict press training tool because essentially what I'm doing is stopping it right over the collarbone and the shoulders and just trying to press it overhead. And if I fail, I have these long feet that are going to stop it from coming all the way down. So I'll have isolation on my shoulders with not that much pressure on my lower back. So I'm going to be honest though, there's, there's no warming up when you only got one piece of equipment here. So let's see what we can do. Do one more. I kind of like that. That was pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out now. So my cameraman just asked me a very topical question, which is how much does the yoke weigh? I looked it up once, but I don't remember. So what I'm gonna do is mouth what I think it is, and we're just gonna dub it in post with whatever it actually weighs. So this yoke weighs 3,000 pounds. All right, so we did a couple warm-up sets. So now, just so that we can kind of go through some more exercises with this, I'm just gonna go till failure. So I'm gonna shoot for like six to eight, and I probably won't get there, but. All right, here we go. Remember, we're going for failure. So we're gonna put the rep counter in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Boom! Here we go. Try and make sure I'm more even on either side. That hit me in the chin. On the fucking cheek. Oh. Oh, I was gonna leave a bruise. Oh. Let's see how much bruising we get by the end of the workout. Fuck. Bro, it's so oppressively hot out here. I'm so glad I had these like screaming cold ready when we started because it's hitting the spot right now. Dude, and it tastes like, it really does taste like cucumber lime. This shit is so refreshing. <laughs> Next up with my bruised face is gonna be pull-ups. Now, this thing is just boiling hot in the sun here. I've got pretty, th and you know what's really funny too is because it's so thick, I have big hands, but I'm gonna have to like hook grip over this to make sure that I can like yeah, I can hold it in place. But if you try and do kipping anything with this or you move back and forth too much, your hands are gonna slip out. I would normally go like this, but I almost feel like I could get better grip with my hands. So I'm just gonna go wide grip on my hands here. Next up is pull-ups. not too bad I'm short and I had to pull my feet up so if you guys are doing this at home I don't know put it up on blocks or something like a prison workout see my cameraman Henry informed me that didn't look hard enough 
So now we're gonna do them side by side here. Let's give them a shot. Dude, that hurt a lot worse. Why'd you make me do that, bro? God. I didn't even have this on the schedule. But while I was doing those pull-ups, I realized you could probably do some leg lifts with this. But again, my even though my grip is pretty strong and I have enormous hands, <clears throat> as you guys remember, when I was in Iceland, my hands were the same size as Stefan's when we were doing stuff. Which, to give you an example, he's like 6'8", and I'm 5'5", on a great day and uh, his shoe size is 14 mine's like 11 10 and a half wide so for some reason my hands are enormous like frying pans so even with good grip and big hands I don't know how how stable this is going to be in terms of me doing uh, leg lifts but let's give it a shot I think I figured out the name of this episode. Just yoking, just yoking. Even better, how about I'm yoked? Global warming's a bitch. All right, next up we'll do some squat variations. Two I know for sure, because I've done them before. We're gonna do some uh, going to parallel back squats on this. We'll drop it down too lower, do some zerchers. Um, and maybe even we'll, we'll keep it here and do some dips. And then I'm gonna try and do good mornings with this. I, I've, I've played with the idea in my head. I just don't know that in execution it'll work. And then we'll do some rack pulls where we'll do some high pulls on the deadlift. And then, uh, and then I'll probably be in the hospital. So let's give it a shot. We dropped the bar about uh, five inches because apparently it was too high even for me. We're gonna give some back squats a go then we'll drop it two more, give it some zerchers, drop it two more, go with some deadlifts. And that'll be it. Let's give it a shot. That's our quiet drone you hear overhead. There we go. Too bad, man. That's not too bad. I like that. Okay, last set. Here we go. It's just that easy, folks. It's just that easy, folks. It's just that easy, folks! Those of you who've seen me do the outside yoke workout when I was sick, we're gonna do some dips, same way we did before. Now the problem with this is there's no neutral handles, but what's funny is I actually have a dip bar that I can put on this next time we film here, which will fit this the same way it fits my monster rack downstairs. But I don't want to do that because I'm trying to prove to my wife that we need this. I swear that's the reason behind this. All right, let's do some dips. Woo! Triceps be popping. Let's do a couple more sets of that. Nine, ten. Woo! I take the breath out of you. You gotta pause it on your fucking chest every time. Ah! Look at that guy. It's starting to bruise up. Nice, huh? This is pretty. This is what God gave me, and this is what the exercises today gave me. Next up, zercher squats.
for those of you who don't know, we're taxing our central nervous system as well as our posterior chain by isolating our center of gravity in a specific area so that we place more emphasis on the quads and a little bit less strain in terms of overloading our back muscles and trying to compress the spine. Now, obviously we're way submaximal here, so that really wasn't an issue during the squats, but if I had this loaded for, let's say, like a 100 pound plate on either side, which technically should have been possible if I was doing those uh, pin squats with this type of apparatus, but with a Zercher squat, it feels more like a squat motion, but the uh, compression on my back feels almost more like a sumo stance dead and the um, engagement of the different portions of the quad feels much more like a quad focused squat than that did. So let's give it a shot. See if I can burn my chest out here with this fucking sun beating down on us. Why do you hate me? Yeah, let's go. I didn't even close up my belt. Woo, I, like I can't breathe now. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, so a recap on the weight here. Since this frame weighs 3,000 pounds, that felt pretty fucking heavy actually. Uh, but you guys remember when I was doing Conan's wheel with uh, Matt Mills that anything you have that you have to pull close to the chest like this. And when I was at World's Strongest Man, I saw them suffer with this. I mean, even Brian Shaw too. One of the strongest guys on the planet, if not the strongest guy in the United States on the planet for sure. Um, when that thing sits directly on your diaphragm and like compresses your chest into your diaphragm and your lungs, dude, you can't catch your breath. Uh, even with this lightweight, I can still feel that after like five, six reps. I could keep going if I needed to, if this was a contest. Um, and if this was heavier, I could probably handle, I don't know, maybe another 90 to 120 pounds on either side for short, short reps. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Ah, it's so hot. This is my last one, I gotta save it. Scoop it up, scoop it, scoop it. Can I drink it? I will, just, I'm not thirsty right now. Last set of Zercher squats. Here we go. So I'm gonna do rack pulls with this. But as soon as I set this up, I realized eventually, probably 2024, we wanna take the family over and try, not the Dinny Stones, but they have these like half Dinny Stones. I think they're called the Nickel Stones. I would love to try my hand at those, but I'm short and the handles are much higher. This would be like a perfect training tool for the Nickel Stones because I only have a clearance of about one to two inches off the ground and I have to pull it with both hands to get it up. So it would be like, so I could load this because the Dinny stones and the nickel stones are unevenly balanced. Where I think the nickel stones all in are like low 500s and the, the Dinny stones are like seven and change. So if I could load this to like 400 and include the frame weight and I was able to pick it up and hold it and maybe even like I don't know, put some band tension like out in the front and in the back to try and pull it off balance or even load it unevenly where I loaded like 65% uh, of the weight on one side and then the remaining 35 on the other. Um, that might be a perfect training tool for the nickel stones, but uh, stay tuned. Last but not least, the king of all lift is our deadlift variation. We're gonna do some uh, varied grip block pulls Obviously, it's not super heavy, so we're just gonna do it for a burnout. So there's only one set. I'm gonna try and aim for like 30. 
But again, we're like, what, six, seven exercises deep, three to four sets a piece. Pretty burned out here in this 90 degree weather. Let's give it a shot, man. Block pulls, here we go. It hurts my glutes more than anything. My glutes up into my quadratus, but we hit our 30. I think I hear, I think I hear my wife calling me. I'm gonna go see what she wants. Well, I got bit in the face by the yoke. I think I'm uh, really short of heat stroke here, but wife says it's back to house duties now that I convinced her to keep the yoke, so. Sorry guys, you don't have to be big to be strong, but you do gotta be a good partner. So, excuse me, I gotta get back to housework. Too tall, I waited too long to hold it up. 